Hello there, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials and in this short video I'm going to show you how to create a simple border for your image but the border can be as large as you want and it can be any colour you wish. So let's get rid of those to begin with because that's what I'm going to show you how to create. Firstly go up to the file menu, click on file and press import. And this is to import the image you want to create a border for. And I want these flip-flops. And this dialog box appears and the default is embed. And that's what you want, so click on OK. To move the image around, make sure you have the select button. Click on that. These handles appear so you know it's selected. And then using your mouse, just grab the image and you can move it around as much as you wish. To create the border, I'm actually going to create a, a large black shape, which is bigger than the image, so it's, it's a quick way of doing it. And to do that, click on the Create Rectangles and Squares, and again, using the dragging mouse option, just pull open uh, the sort of size that you think is going to be good. Again, click on the Select, because if you want to change the colour, you can simply do so um, by making sure that the Im uh, image is selected and then click on whichever colour you want. Or you might like to go over to the the dropper tool here, click on that and then click on the colour you want. Let's use that pink, which is a bit strange but just illustrates the point. But once you've done the colour picking, go back to the select option. Now I'm going to move the image over and pretty much centre it on the colour, uh, sorry the colour background, uh, but it's underneath that colour background and to bring it to the top just click on this button here, the raise selection to the top. There we go. And to centre it exactly, there's a neat way of doing that, but we want to select both of these images first of all, and to do that, with the mouse, aim just outside the images and draw a sort of a, a lasso or a rubber band around both. Then go up to this tool, which is the Align and Distribute tool, and you want to align centrally, click on that, and then align vertically, or even the other way around. That's horizontal, isn't it? There we go. Now we can get rid of that. So now that is actually aligned, perfectly centred in that coloured pink background. To save, we want to select both images as well, so it's the same action, a sort of a lasso rubber band action. Go up to File, Export Bitmap, a dialog box appears. The only thing you need to be aware of is the Browse option on the export. So click Browse, and uh, this is where you want to actually place your image. So I want to go into Downloads, name your image, flip flops. You can see there's already one there. In Windows the default option is only PNG format, which is what you want. You have plenty of other options in a Mac, but it's the PNG format that you want to save it in. So click Save. And the last action is to actually press Export. If you don't press Export, you won't actually save the image. It tells me there's already a file with that name. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do, so click Replace. We can now get rid of that. And just to show you, if I go to my Download Files, click Downloads, and here we have the flip-flops image uh, with the purple background. I sh I, I'm sorry, it's pink, isn't it, with a pink background? Okay, I hope that that has helped. And if you do have any questions, then please do leave them in the comments section at the bottom of the post. We'd love to hear from you. And um, that's all for now. Goodbye.